Hi, my name is Nancy Ball and this is my campfire story. One of them. So back in the 80s, I used to get a group of hardy adventurers together every fall to raft the Gully River with Mountain River Tours. Uh, we do this during the Gully season. When they release water from the Summersville Lake, the Gully has some serious Class 5 whitewater. So rafting it, even with a guide, can be pretty hair-raising. But what a thrill. It was great fun. Um, I always had a healthy respect for what this river was capable of, but after about five or six years of making this trip annually uh, for the two-day golly run, we were starting to feel like we were pretty good at this thing. And on this particular trip, we reached a class five rapid named Gateway to Hell, where the river passes between two huge boulders and drops into a great big boat munching hole. This is a really big hydraulic. So our guide asked us as we were approaching this, this uh, particular rapid, if we were up for some extra fun or did we want to play it safe? And I said, play it safe, please. Safety is always my answer. But my brothers and the other guys on the raft all said, hell yes, let's make it fun. So I was outvoted five to one. So the plan was for the guide to just bump the nose of our raft off the boulder on the left, which would cause the boat to roll sideways into the hole and at least theoretically throw the boat in the air for a spectacular flip. And I'm thinking, oh, and this is fun? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I was seated second from the front on the left-hand side, the same side that the um, uh, boulder was gonna be that we were planning to bump. And the guy did bump the shoulder exactly where planned, but we were moving a little too fast, and so it wasn't a gentle bump. And instead, the front of the raft just folded up, bending backwards up into the air which caused the big guy named Dan, who weighed about 200 and something, who was sitting right in front of me to fall back on top of me. So you know how when things go into slow motion, when something serious is about to happen? Well, I saw the raft fold up. I watched Dan lose to gravity and start to fall backwards. And in the midst of a long, oh, shit, I saw myself reaching for the line that runs across the center tube of the raft. And I saw my hand reach, my fingertips just barely touched the line, and bam, Dan crashed into me, knocking me into the water and falling on top of me. So now we're at the top of a class five rapid about to drop into a monster hole without the benefit of a boat. Oh boy. <laughs> we were above the, sh above the boulders at first and we were both swimming, but the difference was Dan was swimming on the surface and I was under him. And every time I tried to swim up, his foot would land on my helmet and push me back down again. So in what must have been about five seconds or less, but certainly felt more like a century, we were swept down over the drop between the boulders and into the hole where I got sucked down to the bottom. So now this is the truth. I wasn't really scared. All of my senses were on super high alert, but I knew the river well enough to know that there weren't any undercut rocks here I had to worry about. And I also knew the hydraulic would sooner or later just spit me out the other side. But man, <laughs> after Dan pushed me down that last time stepping on my head. I was holding my breath for a long, long way. And when I finally surfaced downstream, I had an adrenaline rush unlike anything I'd ever had before, but I was like Mountain Dew whooping it up. It was whew, really something. So a different guide from another boat actually had to pull me into the raft when I surfaced because I was a good 50, 75 yards downstream from the raft I fell out of, which was too far for our guide to throw the rescue line. Uh, but I could see our raft and I could see that everybody was looking a little worried. The guide, my brothers, our friends, and Dan, who was already back in the boat. But I made it back into our, um, our boat eventually and everything was cool. And then that night we're sitting around the campfire reliving the day's excitement. And Dan and I were taking turns recounting the details of that swim, interrupting each other because we were excited and feeling the adrenaline all over again. But I stopped cold when I heard Dan say, I was really surprised by how shallow the water was. And I looked at him and I said, shallow? I'm trying to figure out what he's talking about. And he said, yeah, when we first fell out, I kept touching bottom every time I tried to shove off to get back in the boat. I'm like, Dan, you idiot. That wasn't the bottom, that was my helmet. So that wasn't the last time I fell out of a raft in whitewater, but no other experiences come close to the excitement of that one.